Yeah, good morning everyone. This is Gary from Swiss Indoor Gardens. Today I'm going to just do a small video on how to harvest the kale that we eat all the time. So the first thing I do is I come to the lower branches first. And I go ahead and cut these off too. So this is a little bit more hardier blend of kale. And what we're going to do with this now is we're just going to take it, we're going to cook it, and we're going to make a pie out of it. Put eggs in it. It's more like a brunch pie. And slide that one over and then go to the next one. This one is very bushy here. So we'll cut quite a bit off of that. With the LED lights, um, they, they don't seem to grow as tall. As long as I keep a lot of light on there, they get uh, short and bushy, which is what I want. Uh, you can see that this one on this side over here, that one, is a little bit taller than the rest. And you, it's simply just a different variety. I have about three different varieties. They're all nicely trimmed now. If you can look down, they have a little bit of bare stalk on them. Oh, the lights just went out. Hello, everyone. This is the best part of the video where I talk about what to do with the kale after you pick it from your indoor garden. So this is a voice overlay uh, simply because we had guests at the homestead and I didn't want to disturb them why they were getting to know each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut it all up into small pieces after it's been washed and dried. I put it into a large pan. As you can see there, it's uh, very finely cut. Then I'll add bacon or sausage or any other kind of meat substitute. Uh, you can use beans or chickpeas. That also works. Uh, mushrooms. I mean, any kind of filling will work with it. With the onions and uh, peppers, you can also put in there. And then what I do is I take the bacon that we've uh, processed ourselves, and I cut it into uh, thicker slices. And then those uh, thicker slices, I'll cut into really small cubes and cook that along with the uh, kale. Now, sometimes I do cook it separate, the bacon, just to get it nice and crispy. Um, and not all the fat and everything, but uh, I normally cook it with the kale to get the flavor of the smoked bacon. And then what I do is add egg, um, milk mix to the kale. And then I pour it into a, a pie pan with, a, with a, such a pie crust. And it's a filling, so we, we, and then I put a little cheese on top and throw it in the oven for about uh, 15 minutes at 180 degrees or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 